Yo, what is up? What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. I got a skid day coming up, so today we're going to be prepping my E36 to go sideways. As you can see, I got a few things with me today. Uh, one thing though that is missing is is JD, he's not here, he's on holiday, but he'll be back very, very soon. What we've got here is a lock diff, a welded diff. Um, I used this on my last skid day, it worked fantastically. This is not for the street, um, I don't wherever you're from, I'm not sure what the laws are, but I know in New Zealand, you're not allowed to use these on the street, but I'm going to a skid day, so it's all good, it's perfect, it's gonna get me sideways, it's gonna be the goods. I'm gonna chuck some fresh fluids in that to make sure that's working strong the whole day. And I got some fresh oil here. Um, not sure, I might do this after the skid day, I think, because it wasn't long ago that I did an oil change on this, and it hasn't burnt any, and it still looks golden. So, probably gonna do the oil change after um, the skid day. But here, I've got some bucket seats as well. I bought some um, bride replicas. They're not the genuine article, but they're good enough to keep you in your seat and have some fun with. So again, check the laws in your country about these as well. There's different things about seat belts and all sorts. This is for the track. It's gonna be fun, let's get into it. Before we start, if you guys want to know how to get that in and out of your E36, a proper tutorial I have made is in the description. There's a link in the description. Hey Gabba, what's up? What's blaying, man? Oh, chill, she likes my BBSs. As I was saying guys, if you need to know how to take a diff in and out of your E36, I have a proper tutorial that I made a little while ago. It tells you everything you need to know. The link is in the description, but today we're just gonna do it. First things first today, we're gonna start with the diff and pulling that out. So I've jacked up the car nice and high. And uh, again, if you wanna see a proper tutorial, please check out the link in the description to the video that I've made. But uh, basically all you have to do is pull out the speedo plug um, undo the um, bolts to the sway bar and you just want to push that up so you can access the mounting bolts on the diff you want to do the two mounting bolts on the back of the diff there's one in the front of the diff then there's the drive shaft bolts you just want to disconnect the drive shaft from the diff and your half shaft bolts and it should all just come out nicely on a jack so we're going to get into that now and pull that diff out all the half shaft and drive shaft bolts are out in the sway bar bolts um i've loosened all the mounting bolts on the diff so now we're going to chuck our jack underneath the diff and just bump it up a little bit just so we can get all the bolts out completely and then we're going to lower it down and the diff is going to come out solid it's ready to come out There she is. It's definitely gotta be the smoothest they've ever done it. Um, yeah, normally it just like drops everywhere. <laughs> but you get better at it each time, better and faster. That's what it's all about, so. <sighs> time for the locky. The open diff is out of the car, which is awesome. And I got my lock diff here, which I haven't used in over a year. And that was the last skid day that I did. So uh, I really wanna have a look at the welds and to make sure that everything inside the diff is working and gonna hold up the way it should. So we're gonna take the back off it today and we're also gonna drain the old oil out and put some new stuff in. Wow. Surprisingly, the oil looks really clean in here. The welds seem to look good on both sides of the spider gears and the diff oil looks brand new and I think I may have even changed it after the last skid day so it probably hasn't even been used yet. Um, after welding your diff, you do want to change the oil a couple of times because you will get metal shavings and stuff in it, but I've already done that. So that's brand new, no point in changing the oil in that, um, but I've never done the oil in my open diff, which I will be putting back in the car for day-to-day -day use. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drain that diff and put the new oil in that. Just taking the back off the open diff that I have in my car on a day-to-day -day basis, and the oil looks pretty black in there. Um, I don't know if it's ever been replaced. You don't usually have to replace diff oil very much, but I'm gonna replace it since it's here. I've set up this little rig with some wooden blocks and ramps and a drain pan in the bottom. So I'm gonna put the diff on top upside down. I've done this before and just let it drip out while I eat lunch. The open diff is all drained. All the oil has dropped out into the pan at the bottom so we can put the new oil in that now now it's time to put the new oil into the open diff so that when i take the lock diff out again it'll be fresh to death and i won't have to think about it 
Time for the world of diff to go in. Oh. The welder diff is in there, everything's all tightened up and it's looking good and I cannot wait to drive it. Um, however, I did have a few problems, it is another day. The other day when I was doing this, um, I was tightening up the drive shaft bolts and one of them going through, I actually over tightened and I stripped one of the threads off it. So it means that the nut still goes on the bolt and holds the drive shaft onto the diff but not as tight as it should be. I've decided though to leave it in there and not take it out because these bolts are on a spline and to get them out you kind of have to drop the diff a little and unbolt everything that I just bolted up to knock them out. So I'm gonna leave it. There's still three other bolts holding it tightly on the drive shaft and the other one is holding it, just not as tight. If I have any problems on the day, I'll just have to pull the diff out a bit and put one of these new ones in, which I'll take with me. But other than that, we are almost there. We're gonna chuck in the seats now. Um, hopefully the rain will stop for a moment so that I can do that. And then there'll be some skid rims going on the back and we're ready for skid day. Another thing I'm gonna do is replace one of the exhaust um, mounts because it is shaking around a little bit and uh, one of them does seem to be cracked in the inside. So I'm gonna pull that out now and replace that. Just drop the exhaust, check both of the hangers actually. Um, the other one's all good, but this one is split all the way through, as you can see, and that's why the exhaust is wiggling around so much. So I've got another one here, another second hand one, but in good shape, that we're gonna put in, and then move on to the next thing. The new exhaust hanger is on, which is awesome. I've got skid rims over here that my good mate Brad gave me to use on the day. So we're gonna clean those up with some wheel cleaner, make them look all shiny, and put them on the car. Skid rims are on the back of the car looking sweet. Now we're moving on to the seats. So we've got something to hold us in when we're going sideways. Very hard to see in the dark there. But underneath the seat, you've got these um, you've got these plugs basically for your like heated seats. I think your seat belt, and obviously all the electric switches that are going on here. So it's a good thing to take a photo of where these plugs go, so you don't even have to think about where they go later, and um, don't put the seat in and things aren't working properly. So gonna pull those out, then the seat's coming out. The diff is in, the skid rims are on, and the seats are in, which is great. I checked the oil level, and the oil still looks mint. Um, it's still golden, there's still plenty of oil in it, so I'm gonna do the oil change after the skid day. Um, however, the coolant is a little bit low, so I'm gonna top it up with some of the green stuff, because that's what's recommended um, in my car, and then we should be ready for skid day. The lock diff is in, the skid rims are on the back, bucket seats are in, all the fluids have been checked or topped up, and uh, I'm very excited because it's ready. It is ready for skid day, it's gonna be such a good day. 6th of January, if you're seeing this before then, uh, down at Hampton Downs, we're doing a full day on the pad, just the wet pad for a bunch of fun. We're not trying to be professional drifters, but it will be fun. Unfortunately, JD won't be able to make it this time, but our good friend Brad with the Turbo E36 M3 is going to be down there and he's going to be tearing up some rubber. So come hang if you like. It's going to be a good time. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of things coming up. So make sure you follow us on Instagram. Hit that sub button and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Come here. Come here. Oi. Oi. Oi, you give us a hand with a diff? Nathan, watch this, bro. I think it's just about to. Oh, you're gonna do it by yourself, bro? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, alright then. You don't even need me, bro. <laughs>